Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and episode number 29 in the Did You Know series as we take a look at more things you might not know in WB 2K22. Before we get to our first thing, if you're new to the channel and you want to find out about all the new things, the secrets and the easter eggs that are contained in the game, then please do hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss out on future episodes. So first up today, did you know that Doink the Clown features a unique reversal? When it comes to Doink, we've already covered a few of the unique traits that he has, whether that be pulling out a fake arm from under the ring or getting help from another Doink. However, something else that you might not know is that Doink also comes with its own unique reversal animation, and should you reverse certain punches with Doink, then this will occasionally see him counter the move with a low blow. Unlike the low blow that's featured as part of the payback system, this reversal won't cause a disqualification even if it's done right in front of the referee, though it does make for another great and unique feature for Doink. Did you know that the mobile phones seen in the crowd feature a screenshot from WB12? When playing matches at ringside, you may occasionally notice fans hold up a mobile phone to take a photo, however something you might not know is that those phones actually contain a screenshot from WB12. While it's impossible to see the image clearly from this angle, should you take a look at the texture file, you can see that the texture used for the phone appears to be based on the Apple iPhone 5, though the Apple logo has been replaced with the WB Scratch logo and the screen features a screenshot of the Raw Arena from WB 12. Did you know that Stone Cold Steve Austin has a special championship entrance when paired with Ted DiBiase? This one was suggested by DJ Empire, who notes a change to Stone Cold's championship entrance whenever you assign Ted DiBiase as his manager, as rather than use his regular entrance, Austin will use a unique version of the Steve Austin 96 entrance, which also comes complete with unique manager animations for Ted. Looking out at the countless members of the WWE Universe in attendance, they are all here because of matches like this one. He may not be defending the championship tonight, but his pride is always on the line. Did you know this special commentary for the Million Dollar Championship? This one comes from Iceman95, who points out the addition of some special commentary when playing matches for the Million Dollar Championship, or should you play a title match with the championship on the line, then this will see the announced team discuss the title and how it's never been sanctioned as an official championship. Can you believe it's been almost three decades and WWE has still yet to sanction the million dollar title? What a travesty. Hey, look, Jack Tunney had a full plate back then. It's been left back at Ted DiBiase's estate for years at a time. A high profile match here tonight might finally make this title legit. We'll just have to see. I cannot get over the fact that I'm in the presence of the million dollar championship. Do you know the amount of security detail that comes with that title's travel arrangements? It's a small army. Well, then the challenger must be feeling lucky that he only has to get through the champ to own the title. Well, I mean, only one man truly owns the million dollar belt, Byron, and we know who that is. Anyone else just has it on a loan. Did you know that 2K had to remove several of MGK's tattoos? When playing as MGK, the majority of his body is covered with a pink outfit that he wears, however, should you jump into the creation suites and take a look at the tattoos underneath, you'll find that the developers have added the majority of his tattoo designs despite them not being shown for the most part. While the developers chose to add in MGK's full body tattoos, there are several tattoos that had to be edited out, either due to them depicting narcotics, foul language, religion, or most predominantly copyrighted images. To give some examples of the copyrighted designs that had to be removed, these include the Pac-Man characters on his clavicles, the Banksy artwork on his ribs, a Jessica Rabbit tattoo on his right arm, and the Red Hot Chili Peppers logo on his left elbow. Did you know that Vader's special masked entrance is included as a hidden entrance? This one is yet another find by WWE Games modder What's the Status, as Status has revealed that Vader's special masked entrance can still be found within the game files despite the fact that it's no longer available for selection. Making his way to the ring from the Rocky Mountains, weighing in at 450 pounds, Vader! That is a scary human being. 
looks like he's possessed. Yeah, but what's more terrifying is the agility that this big man possesses. For players wanting to use this entrance, you can download a special version of Vera from Community Creations by searching for the hashtag statustemp226 as this version of Vera already comes with the entrance pre-assigned. Did you know that 2K have added alternate character models for Raquel Gonzalez and Rhea Ripley? This one comes as part of the recent patch 1.16 update as along with the fixes that we covered in a previous video, 2K have also patched in some new alternate character models for Rhea Ripley and Raquel Gonzalez. Taking a closer look at Rhea's new model and comparing this with the version seen in the base game, then you'll notice a few subtle changes as the new model appears to be a younger version of Rhea as it features a younger face texture from before she got the face tattoo with the makeup on the texture also seeing a slight change. Also updated is the hairstyle as taking a look at the side profile, you can see that the new hair doesn't feature the shave design seen in the original. Switching over to Raquel, her new model also sees a few subtle changes as comparing the face, you can see that the makeup has been updated to match the new red attire with Raquel also featuring a darker, longer hairstyle. While it's not yet been confirmed by 2K, the new character models appear to have been added for use in an upcoming pack within my faction, though for players wanting to get their hands on them early, both stars can be downloaded from community creations by searching for the hashtag statustemp226. Going back to Rhea, this new model is actually the second hidden model that she has, as alongside the new My Faction model, modders within the community have also found an updated version of Rhea's old model from 2K20, with this one featuring her more natural look and longer hair. As with the My Faction models, this version of Rhea can also be downloaded from community creations, with this one also uploaded under the hashtag statustemp226. So there you go, that was more things you might not know in WWE 2K22. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new. And if you did, I would love it if you could drop in a like to show your support, as well as leaving a comment below to let me know what you made of today's features and if there's any other secrets, hints or easter eggs that you think I should cover. While you're there, if you're not already, please do subscribe to the channel for more Did You Know episodes and smack that bell notification icon so that you can be notified the second a new video drops. Until next time though, thank you so much for watching, have yourself an awesome day and I'll catch you later.